Today I'm going to teach you how to use eDrawMax. So eDrawMax is a software that are going to help you create whether it's mind map or some business chart diagram or flow chart that you will need for your business. They have a large selections of templates that you can choose whenever you need to create something. So you can just choose from one of the templates that they have instead of creating it from scratch. As you can see, they have different categories available, such as basic, business, engineering, IT, education, and each category also comes with a subcategory. So you can see whenever you click uh, a category, it also comes with another subcategory, such as in business category, you can see there is a flow chart or maybe business chart or mind map that are created and designed for business use. Besides charts and diagram, they also offer you templates to make annual reports or banner, brochure, certificate, cover, flyer, label, magazines, and so on. You can also create infographic, card, UI and UX, or also crime scene diagram. To start this tutorial, I'm going to teach you from the very basics. I'm just going to go ahead and try to create with a blank page and as you can see once you click the create the blank page these are the first thing that you're going to see let's say you want to input your first shape of your flow chart the first thing you're going to do is just to pick what shape you want from the basic flow chart shapes and then you can go ahead and drag it to your working page and you can also reshape it if you like you can adjust the size however you like and by clicking on the arrow on the side of each shapes you can actually automatically create a connector and then you can go ahead and input your next shape and each shape also comes with a pop-up menu if you want the pop-up menu to constantly be there you can just go ahead and click on the pin symbol on the top right of your shape and then you can also change the shape colors by picking from the selections of colors on the very bottom of our working page. You can also choose the styles of the shapes however you like, whether it's the filling colors, the lining colors, anything you can just adjust it and make changes however you like. If you want to change the shape of your flowchart but you don't want to change its positions, you can just go ahead and click replace on the pop-up menu and then you can choose whichever shape that you like. And here I'm just showing you once again how you can automatically create the connecting line just by dragging on the arrow. And you can also drag the shape that are already connected to other shape anywhere you want without breaking the connecting line. If you click on the insert menu, you can also insert several things such as pictures, icon, clip art, charts. If you ever need some charts to make your data clearer, you can go ahead and click from the chart menu and they already have a selections of charts. And you can just choose whichever chart you would like to put and then you can customize it later. To customize both your chart and your flow chart, you can go ahead and go to the design and then choose whichever style you like. You can also give watermark if you feels like it's necessary. You can choose designed watermark in the watermark option under the design menu. Or you can also create your own watermark by uploading it to eDrawMax. Now that we covered the basics, we're going to try to explore to eDrawMax templates. As you can see, like I've said earlier, they have a lot of selections of templates and some of them are not accessible for free account. Like this one over here, as you can see, it has the premium sign to it, which means that if I want to use that one, I will have to pay. But they also have a lot of free templates that we can use, so I'm going to go ahead and try to find a template that I can customize. Let's try the company activity planning. As you can see, when we click on the templates diagram, it's going to have all of the detail related to what the main theme of the diagrams about. For example, this is a company activity planning and 
the diagram already have the time map such as like which month it is what year it is along with description on each timeline obviously we can make changes to the template such as adding more timestamp if we needed to we can just go ahead and insert some shape from the left side menu of our working sheets we can also alter the wordings for example if i don't feel like that is the company planning that I want, I can just go ahead and double click on the text box and then change the wording according to however I want it to be. I can also drag it around so that I can change its position to however I like it. I can also change the sizing of the charts and if I click the entire chart, it's going to change not only the size of the main shape of the chart but also alongside with the text box too. And of course, if you would like to change the name of the chart, you can just go ahead and double click on the titles text box. Just like how we did before, we can also change the colors and also the shapes of the charts according to how we like. Now let's go ahead and try another chart templates. Now we're going to try and customize a grant chart. Now this grant chart was originally made for product creation. It comes with the task name alongside with the starting and ending date and also the amount of day each task are going to take. If you see on the right side of the chart, you can see the days of the month where this product creation is taking place. Now notice how each task also have progression bar. So these double colored bars actually shows the amount of progress a task is made. And here I'm changing the task duration to 20 days. Look at how the progression bar gets longer. And that is what will happen if you change the durations of a task. Now let's see if we change the percentage of how much the task is done. Also notice that the different colors of the progression bar represent different things. The blue represents the day it took to make that task, while the green represents the amount of work that I've already done for that task. As you can see, the green colored also change according to the percentage we input into the chart. And you can also customize the theme of the progression bar or your chart in general. You can go ahead by clicking on the pop-up menu. There are options for themes and also if you want to add more column or you want to manage each column. You can also change the start and also the finish dates of a task by clicking on the date that you would like to change. And after you do that, notice that the progression bar is also going to move according to the date that you have input. You can see that the longer the progression bar is, it means that the longer the duration of the task is going to take. Having a progression bar on your chart is going to make it quicker and also easier for you to define and also to keep track on the tasks that are going on inside of your project. Now, once you're done creating or customizing your chart, you can go ahead and share it to anyone you would like to share it with by clicking on the share button on the top menu of our working page. Besides creating flowchart, diagram, or mind map, you can also create several other things such as brochure. Over here, I have chose a brochure template, and as you can see, this template already provides me designs alongside with pictures and also some, some wording space that I can obviously change according to my own data. And each and every single aspect of this brochure are definitely customizable. I can customize the charts that are already here. I can change the pictures 
by clicking on the symbols on the left side of the menu. I can also upload my own pictures if I like to input it into my brochure. Now, not all of the shapes and also symbols are accessible for free. Some of them require us to subscribe to their pro membership in order to use them. But I feel like even with the free stuff, I can still create a quite interesting brochure for my business. In case you're curious about the pricing, I'm going to show you over here. Here are the pricing of the different subscription plan that eDraw Max have. So they have so subscription they have plans several that bundles with that semi annual and also you can either choose to pay the buildings annually as you can or semi annually. It comes and with the price eDraw Max is also available US on different platform. A year. So you pay for it their also subscription available on you can different platforms such as you can iOS, pay with Android card so or on. you can also pay in order to with buy PayPal. them. And here are the difference between each subscription plan you can go ahead and also compare which one do you think suits you the best they also provide customer service through chat so if you ever need to text them about any problem that you have you can just go ahead and click on this message bubble on the bottom right of your screen and that's it for today i hope this tutorial is helpful for you thank you so much for watching and have a great day